Hello everybody, welcome. We are continuing our travels here in Los Angeles, California by visiting the Griffith Observatory, which is pretty much the best view of Los Angeles that you're ever gonna find. Uh, we're also gonna check out the Hollywood sign and uh, see what all the observatory has to offer. But uh, I'm excited to go even though I'm a little bit out of breath because we just had to walk <coughs> up the mountain. <coughs> I see you also are. So uh, we're gonna get going, so come along with us. It's, uh, it's gonna be pretty amazing. All right, we made it up the mountain of doom. I have to tell you, we had to walk up the largest mountain to get to this observatory. Um, for some reason, the parking up at the top was not open. So we had to park all the way down the, I mean the bottom of the mountain and uh, climb up to get here. So I'm very, we're a little bit out of breath still. Uh, so I don't know what to expect from this observatory. Um, I've only been here one time before and I don't think I even went inside. I think I just went, walked around the outside to get the view of LA. Um, which I want to start out with. Let's do that first. I can already see the Hollywood sign. That was another reason we wanted to come up here because uh, you can definitely get a great view of the Hollywood sign from up here. Actually, you think that it would be easy to see from down in Hollywood. If you're in Hollywood, West Hollywood, uh, Beverly Hills area, you think it'd be easy to see the Hollywood sign. It's not. There's too many things in the way. It's really actually hard <laughs> to see it. And so we decided, you know what? We're gonna come up here, and that way we're guaranteed to see the Hollywood sign. And um, there it is right there. Look at it. You can't actually get up to the Hollywood sign. You're not allowed to be around it. People, they always uh, do movies like you just walk up to the Hollywood sign and hang out and, uh, you know, sit, sit under it in the stars, but it's not the reality. You can't really get to it. Well, this is your first time seeing the Hollywood sign. What do you think? It looks just like the movies. That's my first thought. Um, I didn't know you couldn't go up to it until he just said that, so I was assuming that's what we were doing later, but I guess not. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful up here. We had to hike up a mountain, um, but once you're up here, it's beautiful. Actually, it's beautiful the whole way. And it said, watch out for rattlesnakes, and I want to see a rattlesnake, so I'm definitely looking for one. Do you feel like the Hollywood sign is like smaller no. than you thought it would be? No. To me, it's the same size as I I always think, whenever I see it, I feel like it just looks tiny. I feel like it's, I'm always expecting it to be a lot bigger. Yeah, like this is the view that you would see if I didn't zoom in. Like, see how tiny it is up there? It's like a little speck um, overlooking Los Angeles. But there's just so many buildings and hills and stuff in the way, it's really hard to see from down in LA. Um, you kind of have to come up here to see it, really. But like I said, there's no better view of Los Angeles than up here on this hill. I'm sorry, there really just isn't. I mean, look at this. I mean, it's just such a massive city. I mean, you can just see how big it is. It just sprawls and sprawls. I mean, even though the city itself, like the city center with the skyscrapers, doesn't look huge. If you just look at all this like sprawling cityscape all across here, I mean, it just goes on and 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 on. And on. It's like insane. That's why it takes forever to get anywhere in California, in uh, LA, because yeah, the traffic's kind of bad here. It's not horrible. It's not like really that much worse than it is in Orlando, but it's uh, it just takes forever to get anywhere because it's so far. Like going from one diagonal end of LA to the other is like a two to three hour drive depending on traffic. Most cities you're like, oh, I'll go from one side to the other and it's, you know, 30 minutes. Look at that though. That's such an iconic shot. I mean, it just looks awesome. You see this in all kind of movies. This is the shot you get. I think of Independence Day a lot when I see this. Well, this is pretty cool. At first I was a little bit confused. I said, why is there a, a statue or a bust of James Dean at the observatory? That sound, seemed kind of odd. Um, but then I realized once I read, it says key scenes from the classic motion picture Rebel Without a Cause were filmed at Griffith Observatory in spring of 1955. Although many movies have been filmed at Griffith Observatory, Rebel Without a Cause was the first to portray the observatory as what it is and to contribute positively to the observatory's international reputation. That's pretty cool. It says, 
This acknowledges this monument acknowledges Griffith Observatory's long and continuous involvement with Hollywood film production by remembering the young star of that motion picture, James Dean. Pretty cool, huh? I was curious. I was like, James Dean. I don't get it, but it's pretty neat. All right. Even though we just we just now got here, uh, after walking up that giant hill, and it's about lunchtime, we're starved. So we're gonna walk down here. I want to see if there's a uh, there's any snacks down here, anything to eat. Maybe there's a store. Let's see what we find down here in this little, this little hole. Hopefully something. I see tables. I don't know. I see people with drinks and snacks, but I don't know if it's stuff that they brought or it's actually going to be a, something in here. Cafe seating is reserved for customers only. Okay. Well, yeah, there is a cafe in here. Sweet. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's a nice little cafe. Not too crowded right now. Let's see what we can find. I'm starving. At least get a snack or something. Drink? What do we got over here? Let's see, hot dogs, mac and cheese, Kung Pao chicken, and chow mein. Okay, wow, they actually have some like stuff, not just like grab and go. Um, some fruit, bagels, lots of drinks over here. They got some grab and go salads and sandwiches too. They also have a salad bar. Wow. It's actually pretty nice. Huh. Well, we ended up grabbing a couple snacks. I got a, a hot dog and actually, actually it was humongous. It was like, it was almost like epic Walt Disney World Casey's Corner style hot dog. I mean, it was like a huge hot dog. Uh, Candy just got her like veggies and dip. So, but it was good. They had, they had actual food food. You could eat like a whole meal there. Um, but I think it was a good place to have a snack. I did notice that the sandwiches said, the sandwiches said Wolfgang Puck on them. So, um, overall it's actually a pretty decent little cafeteria. If you're looking for a snack or if you're going to be here for a while, actually eating like a full on lunch. Um, it's actually pretty decent and the prices weren't horrible. Let's head up here to this, the edge of the observatory. I want to see what we got up here. It's a pretty good view up here. Oh wow, this is awesome. Oh look, there's a trail down there. And yeah, we'll go down there. Huh. That looks interesting. Look at all those trails down there. There's people walking. That's a little bit, probably a little bit too much for me, but that's actually a really cool, cool view out there, I guess. I don't think it's a better view than up here though, so I'm not sure that I want to hoof it all the way out there just for that. So I'm just getting my bearings here. So that's obviously downtown Los Angeles straight ahead there. Right down in front of us down here, this is East Hollywood. This right here about diagonally is, is Hollywood. Um, right down in there you can kind of see where the Chinese theater and stuff would be. Over here is West Hollywood where those bigger buildings are. And then just beyond that over to the right is Beverly Hills. Um, area kind of like following up that mountainside up there yeah that's uh man you can just see for miles and miles how many miles do you think we can see right now a hundred two hundred you can see everything from up here it is huge la is enormous i didn't even realize that until i got here um and i'm trying to facetime my son because he wants to move to la he's in film school right now um and there's no service up here but um, I'm going to take some pictures and send them to them and some videos. It's so, it's so beautiful up here and the trails down there. I don't think we have time for the trails today. Uh, maybe a few. I did know there was an observatory here. Um, I didn't know what I was going to look at. I knew I was going to see LA, um, but I wasn't really sure what it was all about. Um, and I also didn't know I had to hike up a mountain to get here, um, but that's okay. Uh, it's really beautiful. Um, I don't know. It, it just makes me want to see all the different parts of LA and go through them, but I feel like that would take forever. Yeah, I agree. It's like huge. I mean, like the, the amount of things that you can see from up here is insane. Um, like, I don't even know what half of those places are. I feel like we could see all of LA from up here. So it's really hard to see from over here. I mean, I can't really see it, but I definitely can see like Long Beach from here. Way, way, way. Those little tiny buildings in the very back. 
uh, which means you can also see Newport Beach slightly over there. I see a little like mound back there, which I think is Santa Catalina Island. I can't really figure out what that big giant mountainy thing is over there. But that's a good 60 to 75 miles from here, and you can see it all the way from here. That's crazy. The range. So it looks like they have a um, Stellar Emporium gift shop in here. I don't know what though. It looks like, oh, okay, so we have some like NASA space um, merchandise. Griffith Observatory, sweatshirts, those are kind of cool. Okay, so this is like kind of like a space space museum type stuff, which makes sense, observatory, you know, this is for viewing the stars. What else do we got in here? A lot of space stuff, a lot of, not, a lot of, a lot of uh, NASA, there's some novelty items in here too. Apollo 11, moon mug, ooh, that sounds fun. This is a nice little shop, actually. I didn't know what to expect as far as like an observatory gift shop went, but this is actually pretty cool. What's this? Gumball Sun? Gumball Sun, Gumball Moon, and Gumball Earth. They're 23 bucks each. <laughs> How cute. Look, a space sloth. It says I need my space. <laughs> Cool, and then they got little, uh, little like science museum things in here. Some Legos. Little helmets for the kids, huh? hey, or for adults. You can put that on your head. Hmm. All the planets. Well, not all the planets, because I don't see Pluto over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kuiper belt object, all you want. It's a planet to me forever. Okay, I want to go up there. How do we get up there? I think I saw a staircase. Oh, yeah, there's a staircase over here. Here we go. Let's go over here. See if we can get to the very top. Oh, we found the staircase. More climbing up hills. Getting higher. I mean, this view is awesome, though. is neat up here. Oh look, it says, this dome contains the Zeiss 12 inch refracting telescope. So I know that refracting telescopes use uh, varying lens sizes to get the magnification versus a reflecting, which actually reflects off of mirrors. It's the difference between a reflecting and a refractive telescope. And I know that because I worked at World of Science when I was a kid and sold telescopes. Telescope entrance admission free. Ooh, let's check this out. Let's see. Let's see how big it is. Oh, wow. Oh, that's neat. I don't think I've ever seen the inside of a observatory with a telescope before. That's pretty neat. It's pretty big too. Although, I feel like I thought it was going to be a little bit bigger, but it's still pretty huge. Hmm. Celestron. I know. Now, if I recall correctly, refractive telescopes actually have a longer range to them. You can actually see further with refractive telescopes. Whereas reflecting telescopes, you have a clearer picture, uh, but you can't see quite as far. So that's a refractive telescope. So I'm assuming it's got super long range on it. Oh, this is a pretty good view of the Hollywood sign. Check this out. And a pretty good view of the front lawn of the observatory. Look, look here. It's in a good view of where we had to park. Check this out. See, we had to walk all the way down there, all the way down this hill, all the way down that long hill, all the way down this road. 
that you see all the way down there to park. Now let me zoom back out so you can see how far that is. Yeah, that was a long walk, up, all uphill. But anyhow, back to the show, Hollywood sign. Awesome view of it from up here, actually. Better than it was down there. It just still looks so small to me, but <laughs> it's pretty neat. Let's see what else we got up here. Looks like more. Okay, is there another telescope over here? There is. Second telescope, interesting. It says this dome contains the triple beam colostat, which reflects sunlight to the solar telescopes. Huh? I don't even know what I just read. No clue. I don't know what that meant, any of that meant. All I heard, all I saw was reflect sunlight. There you go. Can we go in this one? No? This is, this is, this is closed up? Yeah. Oh well. All right, well, we've seen a lot of the outside of the observatory. Now I want to go in and see the inside and see what all is, uh, is happening in here. If there's any, I don't even know if there's anything in there besides the store. So let's go find out. I did see a lot of people lining up for some sort of planetarium show, which I think is free. Ooh, what's this? It says the signs of life. Where should we look? Oh, that's the now plan. I think that's the, the show. Members skip the line. Join today. Oh, man, we're not members. Let's see what we find in here. I'm actually surprised there's not any kind of like security here. There's no like metal detectors or anything. Ooh. Look at this. Wow, this is awesome. Wait, what's this down here? Some sort of. I think it's a clock. Alright, so this is actually pretty cool. It's called the pendulum. So it kind of is, is a clock. It says it, it uh, basically would knock over all those pegs down there once every 24 hours. It says it knocks one over. It says every 10 minutes or so. I'm not sure how that adds up to 24 hours, but. Uh, let's see. Oh, I see. It would take 24 hours if it was lined up all the way around in a circle. Or at least half of the circle. But basically it says that this is the proof that the Earth spins on its axis. That it's not the pendulum that is moving over to hit the peg every 10 minutes. It's the Earth rotating and the pendulum is swinging back and forth in the same exact spot. So it's the Earth rotating that makes it hit the peg. Huh. That's pretty neat. So there all you flat earthers have it. This proves that the Earth spins on its axis and every 24 hours it would knock over all those pegs once every 10 minutes it knocks one over so that's pretty cool right flat earther theories debunked oh there's a lot in here that i was not expecting what do we got here griffith j griffith hmm. i don't know What's over here? Anne Marie and Jack Wilder Hall of the Eye. Okay. What is this? Tesla coil. Hey, that's pretty cool. An actual Tesla coil? Hmm. What's this over here? Camera Obscura. Oh, this looks cool. Huh. X-rays, ultraviolet. Oh, we could be we could literally be in here all day. Extending the eye, obviously telescopes. Oh look. I'm on the camera. Hey. If I can move over. There I am. Hey. I see you. It says this is a model of the Hale Telescope Observatory. You can actually move it around too. Those buttons. 
Kind of cool. What's all this? Astronomy Village? Hmm. Farther and farther. What is this, the mirror? Or, I mean, uh, the lens or something? It says this 40 inch wide, 1250 pound glass plug is part of California astronomy history. Served as a center support for the 200 inch 14 ton Palomar mirror. Was this being grounded and polished? The process took 11 years. Holy cow. Wow. Hey, old Tycho Brahe. Brahe, Brahe, I don't remember. Remember, didn't David or Max or somebody had to do a report on this guy? <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Uh, what do we got here? Day and night. I don't know what that is. Moon phases. Tides. Let's see. Sun and stars paths. Alright. Seasons. It's a little like interactive kiosks. We'll talk about each one of these things. And then the last one looks like eclipses. Huh. Ooh, what's in here? Elements. A hall of sky. Oh, look at, all the, look at all the different elements. They actually have the whole periodic table here. Cool. That's kind of neat. Huh. Oh look, titanium. That's, that's worth some money right there. Huh. Oh look, I see hydrogen's empty. <laughs> oh, what's all this? Why is the sun different colors? Why is the sun green? These images are from the something or other that disappeared off the screen. Totally. Huh. This whole area is all about the sun. It says, see more of what's up downstairs. All right, let's head down here and see what else is down here. Leonard Nimoy Event Horizon Theater and the Gunther Depths of Space Exhibits. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we got the Big Bang, the beginning of time, the Milky Way Galaxy. Lights full on. Where are all these little like star things? For some reason, it's giving me Disney pin traders vibes. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Just a bunch of like little golds and like bedazzled stars. Oh, here we go. It's five billion years. I think this is supposed to be like the timeline. Oh yeah, it is. Six billion years. Seven billion years. Finally get to 9 billion years and we get to making a neighborhood. So we started out with a big bang way back there. Let's see, getting a life? Where are we at? 10 billion years? 10.2 billion years after the big bang, life started forming. Okay. Now we're starting to get some creatures here, hard bodies. Trolobites and things like that. Where are we at now? We're at 13.2 billion years. 13.35, I'm starting to see lizards and stuff and distant ancestors and then 13.7 billion years later we're on the moon Ooh, this 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 area looks cool it's all this stuff california meteors what founding california 1998 giant meteor bruceville huh Interesting. I don't know how you can tell if it's a meteorite and it's not just a regular rock. Who stumbles across it and is just like, hey, how's it going? This is a meteorite. Ooh, what's this? An iron meteorite? 269 pounds? Now that definitely looks otherworldly. Yeah, is that real? I can touch it. Huh. It says it came from... It says this fragment came from... More than 30 tons of meteorites found at the Behringer Meteor Crater in Arizona. It's 92% iron and 7% nickel. That's cool. You can, 
Looks like you can touch different types of meteorites here. Iron, stony, stony iron. There's another giant iron meteorite. Ooh, I see the moon up here. That's neat. A giant moon. What is that, a moon fragment? It is. There's an actual piece of it. That can't be. Is that what that is? Is that really a, an actual piece of the moon? What? That's cool. Okay, check this out. Right behind you in that little box. Look what that is. A rock from the moon? It's a piece of the moon. It's an actual piece of the moon. Allegedly. Did we really land there? I have no idea. Oh, hey, look. The first scale that I've ever actually wanted to stand on. How much do I weigh? 37 pounds! Yeah! Weight loss goals. All right, let's see how much you weigh. <laughs> Surprise! You're on it. How much do you weigh? 20. What is it? 29 pounds? No, 22. 22. 22 pounds? Yeah! Woohoo! Let's see what we found down here. This looks kind of neat. I like this. It's a lot of space. Huh. They did a pretty good job on the, like the, the way this place looks. I like the way it looks. This whole entire observatory. What's that? Dr. Einstein? Einstein statue. Hey, what's up, man? What's going on, Einstein? How's it going? <laughs> oh, we got little kiosks about each one of the planets. You know what? I'm not even going to entertain this because I already know there's not going to be a Pluto down there. And it's just going to make me mad. It's just going to make me mad. Wow, just look at this size and scale difference of the planets. Look at this. We've got Neptune there. Uranus. 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 Whatever you want to say. Saturn. Jupiter. And look how small. Look at those little tiny... Mars, Earth, Venus, and Mercury, look how small they are, but I do see Pluto. What? It's over here. It's like a little dot. Look at it. Ha. Look, look, look. There it is. It's so tiny. Ha. Pluto, the Kuiper Belt object slash planet. They got screwed. But hey, it does actually have a, its own, but it, it says Pluto and beyond, because, you know, they couldn't give it just its own, its own little kiosk. It had to be about, you know, everything else, but still, that's pretty neat. Hmm. What do we got here? Oh. Astronaut training. Planetarium projector. That looks like, I ain't gonna lie, that kind of looks like, like a, like a weapon or something. That looks pretty neat. We got over here. Seismograph. You know, they probably need to have a lot of those here in uh, California, measuring earthquakes. We got the earth. All right, well, that's the Griffith Observatory and slash the Hollywood sign right in the back there. We figured we'd end it here so we can actually see the Hollywood sign. Oh, well, we can't actually see it. Yeah. It probably wasn't the best choice, like facing the sun. Okay, here, let's just, let's adjust the angle of our recline. Okay, that's better. Now I can see, but it's very uninteresting back there. Whatever. Uh, what'd you think of the observatory overall? What'd you think? Um, the observatory part, uh, that wasn't really my thing. He liked it. What? Um, it was okay. I was just like, okay. Um, but everything outside is what I loved. Um, all the views and the Hollywood sign. And I think that's what most people come here for. It's, it's really beautiful, so. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the outside is what it's all about. I think inside is pretty cool. Um, it's interesting, like, the history and stuff of, like, telescopes and the universe, like the universe and everything. But overall, for me, it's just more like hanging out up here on the outside, looking at the Hollywood sign, looking at the amazing sights of L.A. Again, you're not going to get a better view of L.A., I think, than right there. Other than maybe like in the sky, in a helicopter, 
or on a plane. So overall, we had a blast. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Let us know what you think. Is there other sites that we think you or that you think we should see? Let us know in the comments. Uh, we've got a lot more places planned, so make sure you stay tuned. It's going to be a lot of fun this week. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, put those comments below. Don't make me come after you. Uh, just kidding. Until we see you next time, then, oh boy. It's the easy way. Bye-bye, everybody. Okay.